Let's look at question three uh, from homework 3.3, which is this one here. We are asked to uh, approximate the mean and standard deviation uh, for this data set, which is listed in a frequency distribution. And here we have numbers in millions. So this 28.5 really means 28,500,000, and that holds for these numbers as well. So counts should be integers, but here they're just listed with decimals, so they don't write out all the zeros. If you want to figure out the mean to start with, okay, we're going to go here and open the data in StatCrunch. Okay, our approach was to go to Stat, Summary Stats, and then for a frequency distribution, you're going to choose the grouped binned data option. And we'll just carefully uh, choose the right variables, the correct columns. For bins in, that's where the data is grouped. So that column is age. I'll select age. I don't want to use the lower or upper limits, but the actual counts, the frequencies, are in this column, which is number. And we want, uh, okay, we want the mean. Um, we want the, for standard deviation, we're going to want that too. That's going to be the unadjusted standard deviation because we're talking about the entire population here. I think something's going to go wrong, but I'm going to click compute and see what happens. And it does. It tells us error. Uh, the issue is that this decimal point, it doesn't know, the calculator is not set up to know how to deal with 0.5 of a frequency. It like, doesn't make sense. But there is a way around this issue. What I'm going to do is go one column over to var 5. And I'm going to multiply these four numbers by 10. So instead of 28.5, I'll put 285. And if I'm consistent with that, this problem should now work out. So like here for 37.6, uh, you know, 37.6 million, I'll put uh, 376, multiply it by 10. Again, multiplying by 10 gives me 359, and then 228. Okay, let's see what happens if we now try this process of, I'll go into stat, summary stats, grouped and bin data. All right, my bins are the same. It's going to be age. But for the counts, I'm going to use these as my frequencies instead of these. So I'm going to select var 5. I want the mean. Again, I want the unadjusted standard deviation. It'll definitely give us an answer this time because there's no decimals that appear in this column. So I'll click Compute. And I'll, let's see. For the mean, if we round to... Um, two decimal places, that's 43.75. So let me enter that in, 43.75. All right, just check that again. Okay, that's correct. Now for the standard deviation, again, rounding to two decimal places, that gave me 10.33, okay. Okay, um, so that worked for this problem. So the reason is like, why didn't we like we change the counts? So it's true that we increased the counts by a factor of 10, but if you think about what we're looking for, when you're looking for the mean and standard deviation, you're talking about what's happening within the age group. Since we increased the counts by a proportional amount, it will have no effect on where the mean is with respect to the age, and it also will not have an effect on the standard deviation. Now, if I took my counts and let's say like multiplied this one by 100 and then this one by 10 and I didn't increase them by the same amount, then this process would not have worked. The only reason it worked is that I chose to multiply all these by 10 to remove the decimal points. And that's how you can work around uh, the issue in this problem when you get an error when it tells you uh, you have decimals in your frequency column.